Gen H4, personal single seat helicopter. This aerial vehicle consists of only a seat and a chassis. Its main difference from conventional helicopters is that it has two main coaxial rotors that rotate in opposite directions. The creators of the vehicle state that the helicopter, which is delivered on request in disassembled form, can also be assembled manually within 30 to 40 hours using the instructions. It is equipped with four light two-cylinder gasoline-fueled engines with the capacity of 125 cubic centimeters and is capable of climbing to a height of 1,000 meters with a maximum speed of 55 miles per hour. However, in this mode, the flight duration does not exceed 30 minutes. Despite the long-term manufacturer's plans, the serial production has not started yet and the number of designed helicopters is as much as several prototypes. Nevertheless, this flying device appeared in the Guinness Book of Records as the smallest helicopter in the world. Kitty Hawk Flyer, Flying Multicopter. As the authors of this project note, this version of the fully electric copter was developed specifically for flights above the water surface. The aerial vehicle can carry one person. However, the developers also say that the commercial model, which is expected to be on sale by the end of this year, can undergo significant changes in terms of design and technical characteristics, whereof nothing has been reported at all. According to the authors of the project, you can learn how to operate the flyer in just a few minutes. To do so, joysticks reminiscent of game controllers are used. Flyer is registered as an aerial vehicle, so users do not have to obtain a pilot license. As for the price, this information is not yet available. However, enthusiasts who paid a membership fee of $100 for three years are promised a discount of $2,000, as well as priority in the K for the purchase of the device. Jetman, a jetpack by Swiss national Iva Rossi. One of the features of the project is the complete absence of the high lift system. The aerial vehicle is operated due to the center of gravity shift. However, unlike the hang glider where the pilot can move under the plane of the wing, the wing of Rossi's device is rigidly fixed at the back and the pilot controls the flight only by moving his hands, legs, and head. At the same time, maneuverability is sufficient for performing aerobatics of various complexity. The Rossi aircraft is not suitable for takeoff from the ground. Instead, it ascends to the required height by means of an airplane, a helicopter, or a balloon. A parachute is used to land the vehicle. Apart from the landing and spare parachutes, the wing is also equipped with its own parachute. Snowbird a flying non-motor vehicle with movable wings. A 28-year-old Canadian scientist, Todd Reichardt, a doctor of engineering at the Aerospace Institute of the University of Toronto, managed to make a working ornithopter and even tested its work. It weighs 92 pounds and is made of carbon fiber, foam, and cork. The wingspan of the ornithopter is 32 meters. At first, the flappy plane was towed by a car, but then the cable was disengaged and the ornithopter came to movement due to the swing of long and flexible wings. The wing stroke of the vehicle was provided by Reichardt himself, who was pedaling the vehicle. The device thus traveled a distance of almost 230 meters at a speed of 15 miles per hour. Archaeopteryx is one of the lightest gliders, with a weight of only 134 pounds. Almost any adult can carry it on his shoulders, especially provided that you will not have to carry it too far, as only a couple steps from the hill will make you carried away right into the sky. Also, the design of the glider provides an electric motor that can be installed within half an hour, so that you can take off from a horizontal platform and soar in the sky while there are air currents. As for transportation, the glider is very quickly dismantled and assembled. It can be easily transported as a trailer to a car. The vehicle can accommodate pilots with the height between 65 and 77 inches and a maximum weight of 220 pounds.
Airlander, the world's largest dirigible. It can land and take off practically on any terrain and on water, as well as remain in the air for five days. According to engineers, it will be able to climb to a height of up to four miles, and with its 92 meter length, it is capable of carrying up to 10 tons of cargo. Since it uses inert helium to provide most of the lift, it can remain in the air for a long time with minimal fuel consumption. The dirigible can also be used as a luxury cruiser for laid back flights. For this purpose, a 2.5 times larger cabin can be installed. Some yachts cost hundreds of millions of dollars, but the airship will cost only 35 million, which may be appealing to people who can afford such expensive toys. Guys, thanks for watching. Please write in the comments what you liked most. Stay tuned, lots of exciting news is in store for you. See you soon in the next video.